Hi everyone, it's Karen. This is just a quick video to show you how I capture images for my stamps and bring them into Evernote so that I can organize everything in there. So what I do is I go to the site of the manufacturer of the stamps that I want to enter. So in this case, it's a Lawn Fawn stamp. I'm typing in the name of the, uh, the company in my browser. And then I click on the site and I search for the name of the stamp set in their search bar. What I've done is I have taken all of my stamps out of the original packaging and I keep them in Avery L pockets and then I put a label at the top of my pocket with the name, the manufacturer and the name of the stamp set. So I always know which stamp set it is. So in this case I'm looking for Cheery Christmas and here is the stamp set. I also have the matching die so it's going to be super easy to find that as well and what I do is I put the matching dies in the back of the pocket so that the stamp and dies are always together. Any dies that I have that are not part of a stamp set I store separately but all of my dies that are parts of stamp sets are included in the back of the pocket. So to grab the image and the information for this stamp set I'm going to click on the image and I have it displayed here and up here in my browser you'll see I have the Web Clipper app which clips whatever I want to Evernote. So I'm going to click on this and you see you've got a bunch of options here. By default it chooses article. You can use that but what it's going to capture is what's highlighted on the screen here right now. It's all of this text. You could also choose simplified article which gives you basically just the text you could choose full page which saves the full page. You could create a bookmark. What I have been doing is I've been saving a screenshot and once you click that you get these white lines. Once you have your top left corner selected just drag it out, click your mouse and drag out to get the full image and then let go of the mouse you're going to see that this has been saved. The name of the stamp set is already here. I add Lawn Fawn or whatever the manufacturer is to the beginning of that so that when I search in my stamps I can search by Lawn Fawn. I'm also going to add some tags. In this case it's a photopolymer stamp set. So that's one of my tags. Another one is going to be Christmas because this is Christmas. Um, then I'm also going to put in certain other things that I see here. I see a squirrel, I see a ladder, I see gifts, I see a tree, um, and I guess decorations. Maybe Christmas decorations would be better than just decorations. I just type them in, press enter, and the tags get entered for me. Also there are a couple of sentiments at the bottom and these are Christmas sentiments so I'm just going to choose that tag and press enter and I'm done. So now I want to make sure that this goes into the, the notebook that I want. In my case I always put them into to do, organize, and later on I go in and I sort out all of the things that I have set up. I could also go directly into a folder. In this case I have them under inventory and stamps but I'm not going to change that but I could if I wanted to. You can also annotate your image here. You could add an arrow, you can add highlighting, you can add text. Those are these tools over here. So I'm done with this. I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to go over to Evernote And you'll see my listing here of dies that are already in the system. So I'm going to click my to do organize folder or notebook here. And you're going to see this is what I just entered and you see you've got a, an image of the stamp set. My tags are here and if I wanted to add any notes I could and in this case I'm going to add a note saying that I have the matching dies set. So that tells me right away that I have it and I can take this and bring it over into my stamps notebook. So I now have 16 stamps set up in here. Here's this latest one. You can see it has the name here. 
there's my note, have the matching die set, and my tags are here. Now let's say that I'm in Evernote and I want to find something. If I type in Lawn Fawn, it shows me everything I have that is Lawn Fawn. Let's say if I wanted to find, oh, you see, here's something that I should have added as a tag and I didn't. I can add it afterwards. I realize I should put a tag. And to add a tag after the fact, you just click here to add tags. I should have added coffee, hot chocolate. Um, what else could I put there? Candy cane and sentiments. So I've added tags to this now. So now let's go back. I'm going to clear my search. I cleared my search there. And I'm going to search now for something else. I'm going to search for coffee. So anything that is related to coffee will be brought up over here. So, so once I have that captured, I can easily go back to the die set and grab that as well. I'm just going to go back in my browser. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click on the image for the die set. I'm going to go through the same thing again. I'm going to click the web clipper up here in my, the top of my browser. I'm going to choose screenshot and I can scroll up the window so that I have a better view. I'm going to grab my screenshot and again it saves this information here for you. I'm going to type in lawn fawn at the beginning so that I have that as a, as a tag, as a searchable part of my name. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add my tags and type in the word dies. I'm going to type in Christmas. Um, and that's it for this because it is the matching die that goes with the other one. And I'm going to click save. I'll go back to Evernote. I'll look at my to-do notebook. Now normally I have a whole bunch of items here in my to-do notebook. Uh, just a second, I did I click finish? Yes, I did. So it should be here, but it's not. I don't know why it didn't show up. So I'll just go back and do that again. So I'll go back to here. I'm going to click the web clipper. I'm going to choose screenshot. I'm going to drag out my screenshot. I'm going to add the word lawn fawn to the name of the description of this, of this capture. Then I'm going to add a couple of tags here. I'm just going to add the word dies and Christmas. And once I spell a little bit, it shows my tag already and I can scroll down and I can select it. Then I'm going to click save. That has sent that to my to-do notebook in Evernote. Here it is. Everything is fine. And I can drag that over to my dies notebook. This was an extra one that I had done, so I'll just delete that. So now if I look at my dies, I have 14 of them. And that one has been added to my lawn, to my dies notebook. And you can see here it's Lawn Fawn Cheery Christmas. And it has the tags that I added to it. Now what I could do in this case is I can type in in back of stamp pocket, and I know what that means. It means that the actual die is at the back of my stamp pocket. So this is just a very quick overview of how the web clipper works and how organizing in Evernote is really cool. I'm going to have lots more videos to help you with this. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.